I'm gonna show you how to create a large animated title that collapses on iOS. This is something that's available in iOS 11 and higher, and we can do this using JavaScript code in our native script applications, and that's coming up right now. Welcome back everybody, my name is Alex. I was looking for this and spent days in trying. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to this channel where I show you NativeScript tips, tricks, and tutorials to improve your NativeScript development game. If you like what you see here and you want to take it a step further and learn a lot more about NativeScript, check out the link below to nativescripting.com where you'll find premium NativeScript courses based on the topic that you want to study. So ever since iOS 11 came out, the way the title bar is displayed on some native apps, especially the ones that come with iOS, have this large animated title that's part of the collapsible action bar. There's also a search bar that's available. If you take a look at iOS email app, for example, you'll see the search bar in there. And that's something we'll cover in another video coming up next week. But today we want to start with the basics and I just want to show you how to create that large title bar. It's actually a lot simpler than you think. And if you've been hesitant to try out using iOS native APIs in your native script apps, this video is gonna show you that it's really simple and you can start utilizing these functions even now. All right, let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna get this title right here in this action bar to be large. This is a feature that iOS 11 and higher has in a lot of applications, especially the iPhone applications, the iOS applications that are default have this feature enabled. So since we're targeting iOS here, we're gonna need to go to the page and we're gonna need to check to make sure that we're working with iOS. So we're gonna import the is iOS check and that's coming from TNS core modules platform. This constant will be set to true only when running on iOS. All right, so our page has a couple of hooks on it. There's the navigating to that's already in here by default when you install from the hello world template. This is the navigating to handler hooked up right here on the page element but we can't use that one in our case because that one doesn't have a frame available. So we get a hold of the page, but page.frame, this will be null when we're navigating to the page. So we need another hook. We need the loaded hook. So we're gonna implement the loaded event handler here. I'm gonna call this onLoaded. Let me export the function called onLoaded here. It's gonna have args of type event data, and args will also have a page or object on it rather. And I'm just gonna copy this line right here and paste it here. All right, so there's our instance of the page. And now page.frame will not be null. So we need to access an iOS property on the navigation bar. All right, this is our action bar or navigation bar in our case. How do we get a hold of it in native code? Well, we're gonna access iOS for the frame and then we're gonna access the controller property on it. Notice it's typed as any at this point. So beyond that, we're on our own. Now, of course, you could also cast this as a UI navigation controller, which is an iOS type, but TypeScript is not gonna be happy here. You can check out some of my other videos on this channel to see how we can get TypeScript platform declarations in here so that you can actually use iOS types inside your JavaScript code. All right, but I know where we need to go and I'm gonna skip that part because here we're just trying to accomplish a certain goal, which is to set large titles. So on the controller, we have a property called navigation bar. This is the actual action bar. And on that, we can set a property called prefers large titles. And if we set this property to true, this is a Boolean property, our titles will be large but this will break on Android. So we need to use that is iOS function to make sure that this runs only on iOS. So if is iOS, then we're gonna execute this line of code right here. All right, let's save everything and take a look. And look at that. As soon as I did that, our page loaded with the large title. But there's another built-in feature that automatically you get for free with this, is when you scroll up, the title will shrink. And when you scroll down, the title will slightly enlarge but that won't work right now because I don't have anything scrollable down here. So let's go to main page and I'm gonna make our content scrollable by putting it inside of a scroll view. So I'm gonna wrap our current content of the page inside a scroll view. And this is also not gonna work because our content inside the scroll view is too short. So I just need to make the content really tall and I'm gonna adjust the height of it. So I'm gonna set the height to 
a thousand. It's going to be taller for sure than the size of the screen. So let's check that out. When I scroll, you can see that we get that nice little animation. And when I scroll down, you can see that the title enlarges and it snaps back in and our action bar is automatically handled by the operating system. And we didn't need to do any special animations or anything for that. We get that by default. All right, let's check out some of your comments from this video that I posted on how to create a flat action bar. Richard Vink, hey Richard, I didn't know about this and I was mind blown. I would like to see more about styling NS apps with material design. Thanks Richard. I also didn't know about the flat action bar and it really took me by surprise, but I'm glad that now we know. Now about material design, are there any specific uh, UI components that you wanna see? Let me know down in the comments of this video. Cyanjin85 says, that's cool, thanks for the tip. All right, welcome back Cyanjin. Multishiv has a comment here, a constructive comment. And Multishiv works a lot. I know this guy, he even has videos on this channel. Check those out as well. And I know that he's got very good tips. A tip from experience, don't mix flat action bar with non-flat ones in your app. Either make it flat on all pages or not flat on all pages. Even if you're hiding the action bar, make sure the flat property is same throughout all the pages in your app. So mixing the flat action bar with non-flat action bar works fine on Android, but on iOS, if you're mixing the two, it's gonna have a weird behavior when you're switching between the screens. Thanks for that advice, Maltashiv, I appreciate that. And Jean-Pierre Casanova says, woo, amazing. All right, folks, help me help you out by subscribing to this channel and click the little bell so you get notified whenever new tutorials come out. You can follow me on Twitter, I'm at DigitAlex over there, and I'll catch you in the next one.